On this very long flight with Lee, we see four hot air balloons. I run out of fuel and Lee and Mark Jeffries need to come out and uh, rescue me in the buggy. So uh, quite an eventful one and a very long flight. So if we go to the start, so I'm just getting set up here. If you can see on the top right, the flight was about two and a half hours long, got to 3000 feet at the end. And uh, the plan for this flight is to fly to Northampton. And shortly after we took off, we saw a line of one man hot air balloons. So we thought, let's go and have a look at those and uh, on our way to Northampton. So yeah, really good flight. So it's the 12th of September and it's uh, 7.45 in the morning. Winds are quite light, about one mile an hour from the southwest. And uh, they do strengthen during the day, but not by much. So a uh, very pleasant morning flight. So we're going on a long flight and Lee is flying a Dudek Hadron 3 wing, which is way more efficient than my Dudek Universal wing. Firstly, my wing is slightly too big for me, so it'll be a bit more draggy than the um, Hadron 3. And I think Lee is on the top end of the weight scale for that, so hopefully we can keep up with each other. And uh, here I am having my breakfast, which is the breakfast of champions. We're now flying over one of the balloons that I mentioned earlier, and sadly we didn't get there in time for it airborne. He's uh, landed. So I am very conscious that balloon pilots don't necessarily enjoy seeing paramotor pilots around and probably makes them a bit nervous. So trying to keep my distance. So here's the fourth balloon coming into land now. I must admit it does look a bit awkward uh, on a balloon coming into land, kind of dragging the basket across the field. But he's down, he's backing up, and uh, we fly over and uh, then resume our course back to Northampton. This here is Thurlight Airfield, or also known as Bedford Airfield, just north of Bedford. Now there's a racetrack on there now, and part of the runway is used for flying, but it's mostly used for storing cars. <laughs> I'm just flying past Rushton now and it made me think of Paul Mockford, also known as Paranoob. And that's his field over there. We kept away from it, didn't want to annoy anyone and uh, jeopardise his field. So just flew past. Hi Paranoob. And what is this here? This is outside Wellingborough. Is it a, a new jail being built? There's some cranes and things around. So we're now approaching Northampton. We've been flying for quite a while now and I'm a little bit worried about my fuel. I'm checking to Lee on the Senna intercom system and saying to him, uh, I'm getting a bit low on fuel, so um, you know, what, what do we think? So he's okay because he's got a very efficient wing. Uh, and I'm thinking I should turn back, but we both decide that we'll just go to Billing Aquadrome and then turn and then come, come back. So hopefully that will not result in me running out. So this here is Castle Ashby, which uh, work began in 1574 and continued into the 1600s. So at this stage, Lee is also worried about fuel, even though he's on the H3. So he says to me that he will just let his trims out a little bit and just continue on. He's been holding back, um, you know, zigzagging behind me for, for some of the way. So he um, just heads back and says, you know, if you, you land out somewhere, I'll come and get you. So, so I pull my trimmers in to increase my range and um, Lee then flies back to Little Granston. One mistake I did make though is that when I saw these clouds, I wanted to get above them. So I foolishly um, put the power on and got, got above the clouds, which ultimately um, was a mistake.
So you heard the engine there just switch off. So I'm now out of fuel. I'm 3,000 feet up, so I've got plenty of time to decide. So I go on WhatsApp, this is me looking down, I'm looking at my phone, I'm going on to WhatsApp, telling the guys if I had an engine out. And um, But I'm looking at the, at the distance and I'm thinking I might actually make it all the way back to the airfield. Uh, I've got a previous video, if you have a look in my um, video history of me going back, running out of fuel and actually making it. So at this point of the flight I'm thinking, do you know what? I might actually make it back, but I am quite a long way from the airfield, so I'm not worried. Um, I'm flying, I'm crabbing along, the wind is coming from the left, so I'm having to crab a little bit, which is causing me to um, slow down. So there's the airfield, I'm thinking I might just make it. So at this point I realise I'm not going to make it, so I think to myself, if I'm going to be collected by someone, I want to be near a road, ideally, I don't want to be hiking across a field. So I spot the road over there and I think I'll fly towards it, and then I see the power lines on the other side of the road. But then there's a track next to that dark field coming towards me, so I think well, if, I, if I do a turn and land on that track next to the road, um, I should be easily retrievable, so that was my, my thinking as I'm coming in. Hello? Hello? I'm down there, yeah. did you see me? <laughs> okay, I'm just on the track. Um, the other side of the, well, quite a long way out down actually. Might be used to go down the road. <laughs> I'll wait for the buggy. <laughs> so the guys at the field actually see me come down away from the airfield. So they, um, Mark Jeffries wants to get in the buggy. So he, they jump in and come and rescue me, which is actually quite fun. <laughs> Almost! So close. Yeah, I know. I thought I was at 3,000 feet. I'm, I'm going to make it. It's going to be easy. And then <laughs> hasn't got the lift of a paragliding wing. I, I couldn't work it because you, you said engine out. I might yeah. make it. But of course, you. Yeah, I was quite high up. Yeah. yeah, it took a while. So how can I secure this in here? Sure. I'll sit behind Lee. This is way to do an engine out. So thanks Lee and Mark for rescuing me. Uh, if you enjoyed that, click the like button. It helps other people find the channel. And I've got a photo album at the end, some, some nice photos. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>